Donald Trump and Joe Biden enter their first debate of this campaign, with each telling voters that electing their opponent would be catastrophic. Trump says Biden is ruining the country. Inflation is raging. Crime is out of control. Europe is in chaos. The Middle East is exploding. Iran is emboldened. China is on the march. And this horrible, horrible president. Is dragging us toward World War III. Biden says Trump would take the country backwards. All progress, all freedom, all opportunities at risk. Trump is trying to make the country forget just how dark and unsettling things were when he was president. But we'll never forget. Public opinion polling shows this is a close race, raising the stakes for this debate, says Northeastern University journalism professor Alan Schroeder. I think that puts sort of equal pressure on both of the candidates, both、um, in terms of the opportunity the debate presents to them, but also the risks. This debate is unique in featuring both a sitting president and a former president, says University of Pennsylvania communications professor Kathleen Hall Jamieson. So the public is more knowledgeable about both of these candidates as as individuals. More likely to know about their temperament, their habits of mind, their disposition. But this year, because of the age of both, there is a need. Even if you think you know a lot about both of the candidates, and you're more likely to this year, for you to be able to say, are they mentally acute enough to be president of the United States, and mentally stable enough to be president of the United States? Political debates are about message and moments, says political analyst Brett O'Donnell. You've got to drive a message consistently. Across the debate, but then you want to have a couple of moments in the debate that are the the shiny objects, so to speak, that the press will pay attention to, and that allow you to exercise competitive advantage. This will be the earliest presidential debate in U.S. history with neither Trump nor Biden officially nominated as his party's candidate. There will be no opening statement on Thursday, and both candidates will have their microphones muted when it's not their turn to speak. Kalu VOA News, Atlanta.